Okay, before we get started, we just want to make sure that we have this sheet out in front of us that says River Model Flip Class. You're going to be filling this in as you watch the video. Just a reminder, you can pause the video at any time. You can rewind it in case you missed anything from the sheet. But let's get started. Tomorrow's learning target is I can use a model to find out how sand gets moved and where it ends up in a river. So in your green plastic bin tomorrow, you're going to have the river model, the base for the river model, the catch basin for the river model, the rain maker, a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder, a plastic bin, and a spoon. And I almost forgot a 30 milliliter graduated cup. All right, so this is a shot of what your river model is going to look like once it is completely set up. Just a note, we are using these green plastic bins tomorrow. We're gonna to keep everything for the river model in the green plastic bin so we don't make a huge mess with all the sand and water. There are just a few things I want to point out about setting up the river model correctly. Um, the first thing is that the catch basin in the front has two pegs. You want to make sure those pegs are securely locked into the slots for them on the actual river model. Second, the stand in the back has a little slant to the top of it you want to make sure that the slant is pointing towards the front of the river model. For this experiment, you're going to need 90 milliliters of this beautiful, beautiful sand. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your 30 milliliter graduated cup and you're going to just fill that with sand three times and put it into your plastic cup over here. So 30 milliliters, 60 milliliters, 90 milliliters. On your river model, you're going to spread out your sand as evenly as you can between points A and points B. You want to make sure that the sand is evenly spread out and flat, and you can use your spoon to help you do that if you need to. So once you have your sand evenly spread out on your river model between points A and points B, you can take your rainmaker and put it over point A. You just want to make sure that the rainmaker is securely on there. So this is a shot of what your river model should look like when you're ready to start your experiment. So once you're set up, but before you can start the experiment, on your lab sheet on the side that says prediction, you're going to have to make a drawing to predict what's going to happen to your river as you make it rain. You want to show how you think the sand will move and where it will end up. Once you're ready to do the experiment, you're gonna send somebody from your group to get 50 milliliters of water in your graduated cylinder. When you're ready, you can pour your 50 milliliters into your rainmaker. After you've poured your 50 milliliters, make sure that you're observing the river model the whole time until all of the water is fully drained from the rainmaker. You're going to repeat this process until you've made it rain on your river model three times. That means you're not recording anything on your sheet until you've made it rain on your river model three times. Remember that after each time you want to observe what's happening in the river until all of the water from the rainmaker has drained. After the third time, you can record your observations on your sheet. You're going to record your observations as a drawing on your lab sheet showing what happened to the sand in the river and where it all ended up. 
Once you're ready to clean up, you can take your river model and you want to hold it so that it's tilted slightly back like this. So no wet sand or water drip out. You're going to bring it right back to the bin where you got the sand from and you can dump the sand right back into that bin. Your catch basin is going to have a bunch of gross sandy water in it, so you're going to be extra careful when you pick this up to dump it out. You're going to take your gross sandy water from the catch basin and you're going to dump it into the dump bin on the counter. It's important that you don't get any sand into our sinks because they're super fancy and they can't handle sand in them. If your catch basin or river model has any sand left over in them, what you can do is you can just put them into the dump bin and swish them around and the water in there to get the sand off. Once you have finished and have everything rinsed off, you can return everything to the green bin and return it to the counter. You and your group can then move on to answering the questions on the analysis sheet. All right, so at this point, you wanna just make sure that you have everything on this sheet filled out, including the front and the back. If you need to, you can go back, rewind the video, rewatch any parts that have things that you missed, and make sure that you bring this in to class tomorrow as your entrance ticket to the experiment. So have a good one, and I'll see you tomorrow. Mr. Wong's flipped class.